Hello, my correct, correct people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you according to your time and location. Today, we're going to make a quick video, quick video, quick video. To all those that is supporting me, thank you so much. I appreciate you. God bless you. To as many that will come across this video, please, guys, share this video out, guys. Share it out. Put your comment there so that, uh, please, I beg you, just share it out. Uh, hey, one, I'm going to share it out. This is a um, best spread. I want to make bread spread. This bread spread is 200 by 200. Yeah, 200 by 200. It's a big build. So this is the material. Nice material for bread spread. If you want to make bread spread, you know that 200 by 200 is very big. It's a big build. You will take 2 meter and 20 inches or 2 meter. If you want the cloth to be very wide, you don't want shortage of knots. Take it 2 meter and 29 inches. I hope you know what is meter and inches. This is uh, the tape now. Then you are going to take it like this. 36, 36 into 2. Then you make it uh, 29 inches. This is 1 meter, 36. 1 meter. Then the other one is 36 also, which is 2 meter. 2 meter. And 29 inches. You see it here. 29 inches. Twenty nine inches. This is twenty nine. See it's not. It's a big girl. This one will cover when you are using two two hundred by two hundred bed or foam. Yeah. This one will cover the whole bed. So I will cut it now. I will sew everything so that you can see it. I'm going to do it together. The wideness of this uh, bed spread is 100. I just sewed it to now. The wideness is 100. Why the length is 2 meter and 29 inches. So no matter how the bed will be big, this one will be enough for you to cover your bed. You understand? Then I will show you the easiest way to sew the pillowcase on your own. By the time we finish sewing this one, I will just put it on the machine and stitch here. Then the other side stitch it. The best part is done now. Then I'm going to cut the pillowcase. So you know I told you easiest way to sew your pillowcase. Then when you have pillowcase at home, just spread it on this. Make sure, calculate it that, okay, this one into two like this. The length. For you not to calculate, that is why I say it's the SOS. You see it now. So, because you are going to fold it into two. So, make sure that this one you are going to cut, it will be two of this. Two of this length. This one will be two of this length. One part of it will be the pillowcase. So, this one is two of that length now. I fold it on the table. I'm just going to cut it out. Let me cut it out. I see it now. I cut it already. What this one is two. Then you open it. I'm going to open it here. Now I'm getting six pillowcase from this uh, bed spread that I made by myself. Now I'm going to sew the pillowcase. Now you see. I fold it into two now, then I will leave one at two meter. This two meter is for me to do it like this. You see, if I'm sewing it now, I'll sew it straight to this edge. I will also do this side two meter. I hope you can see me. <laughs> I will take two meter. Two meter will be the the down one, it will use two meter to be longer than the the up one then i'll just take two meter like this i'll use it to fold this one i will sew it straight to the end like this i will also come to this place two meter like the way i do that one i will sew it straight to this end so your pillowcase is done though just with okay let's sew together <laughs> so that you understand what i'm saying now okay first and foremost we first of all turn this here because this place i have to so that will be neat 
I'll put it on top of the machine. Just use half inch to run this up like this. That's stitching the up of it. Now you see, I use one inches, uh, two inches to fold it like this. Then I will just join it straight. I'm going to join straight, then the other side straight. So you see this side now, I also fold it with two inches. Then I also put it in the machine like this. The way I sew the other side, we just sew it like that. The funniest thing about sewing your best spread alone, you know, when you buy it, you always get two, two or four. That is two pillowcase or four pillowcase. You always get it. But when you sew it yourself, you can, if you are that type that love pillowcase on the bed to pack it around the bed, you can get as many as you as you want so that is the good thing about sewing it yourself when you get a nice material just see my face don't bother see the pillowcase just see me now i'm going to get six of this one six you see you can arrange it yourself this is the f uh, f uh, back if you want to put it on your bed and put this side you see it now it's very beautiful <laughs> I want to fold the edge of the best spread. I was able to sew six pillowcase. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that not amazing thing? Six pillowcase and one best spread. So I'll just fold it like this. Like this. Then I straight down. Then I'll also do the other part. Let me show you. Because I said we are sewing it together, right? Yeah, we do the work together. It's an easy job. So you down to the end. Just so so it's done. This is the last part of it. Then you also fold it where you fold the first tie, the upside. Then you also fold it like this. And stitch it to the end. It's for this and just so it's straight. So it's straight to the end of the then you are set to use your best friend. <laughs> After finish sewing it, you can use your best friend or you wash it first. If you are that type that wants to wash new things. Or you use it like that so your best friend is set to use thank you so much for watching to the end of this video i hope you will love this video please guys share it out share it out and share it out thank you bye bye